Hello everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we're going to be speaking all about the Alabama quarter, going over the ones that are worth more than 25 cents. It could be a variety where you look closely, I'll show you pictures and explain what to look for on these Alabama coins. It could be an error, which are really, really neat, and there's some cool ones for Alabama that I'm going to discuss, or a conditional rarity or something of that sort. So there's a lot to jump into. We'll head to the presentation and hopefully give you everything you might even be thinking or you know, probably show you some stuff you weren't aware of. Let's go and do that right now. So here we've got the Alabama Statehood Quarter, Helen Keller with her name in Braille on the reverse. Um, but we're not going to talk too much about the design. We're going to focus on some of the varieties. So there's one to look for on the front of the coin and then one on the back. The first is sort of a classic doubled ear. But I think one unique thing about this one is that the doubling is really all along the ear. Often you just see protrusion in one uh, segment or section of the ear, but really encompasses most of it. Um, and I think the valuation here is maybe a little bit low. I think you could expect for a really nice mint state 65 looking example to get a bit more than $10, but that's the one coin that's been noted as a variety. Um, and then on the reverse, um, a small doubling on sort of the armrest. Um, and that, again, for the right Alabama collectors, there's not very many of these known. So if you find one, you could anticipate, you know, 15, 20, 25 dollars, and it can go up from there depending on condition. And speaking of condition, we've got the conditional rarity Mint State 68, three thousand dollars. And if you fall to 67 or 67 plus, you're probably going to be slightly in the green or varying the green if it's a seven plus. But you really want to submit with the goal of a Mint State 68, and only do that to PCGS. Um, that's for the Philadelphia Mint. The Denver Mint is not nearly as valuable, and the probability of getting a 68 is really low unless you have sort of a perfect looking coin or just, you know, below it uh, with very little marking on the uh, Washington's face on high points. And same thing for the reverse. This reverse is super clean, um, and because that'll only be about $200. Uh, definitely do not submit any of the proof coins. You know, proof Alabama quarter, 30 bucks, 50 bucks for the silver proof, um, really just not worth it. Um, you know, even if it's perfect. Now, in terms of the errors, I was only able to find one, and that makes sense because 2003 saw a much higher crackdown in terms of errors, far fewer production, um, and as such, something like an elliptical clip planchet that normally would be pretty cheap um, for some of the other years is more expensive. $215 in 2019. Um, it's just uh, arises out of somewhat of an irregular, you know, it's not just like a uh, small minor clip planchet coin um, that would bring a few dollars. The elliptical clip is one of the rarer versions of them. Um, and, you know, I think it's often like two different uh, sort of continuous clips that make it into the oval shape that it is. So a really fun coin, uh, but no other errors uh, beyond that. It's really going to be the variety focus on these Philadelphia Mint coins. You know, check. It's very easy to do so um, and would be a pretty cool find. It's not something that's found every day by any means and would be fun to get one of those doubled ones on the armrest. Uh, same thing on the obverse of the coin with a doubled ear. And I'm sure that there's many of these coins that people have passed over just because it's not a really well-known one, but I always like ones where the reverse has the variety because that's the statehood quarter um, that really has it, not just a double deer of Washington's profile. Thanks for watching the video. I'd encourage you to like the video, comment, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I also have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and some other social media platforms. You can also go to my main channel website, treasuretownyt.com, to learn more about the channel and sort of stay in contact. I also will eventually host all of these videos on coinsmetalscards.com, which will be both news, marketplace, and coin information. I do have the goal of eventually getting pretty much every U.S coin date mint mark denomination on the channel with a similar video to the one that you just watched and that will likely all be hosted there uh, and then i also have treasuretowncoins.com which is sort of my coin dealing wing coin dealing only entity that's a little bit less focused on content production so thank you so much and i'll look forward to seeing you on some of my other videos i also have videos that are not just the date uh, mint mark denomination recap in this format uh, so you can check some of those out and i'll yeah have fun seeing you there